This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. All is well. All right. In this quick video introduction, let's take a look at markets here. October 2nd, 2020. I want to discuss this stock that I had recorded a video for paid subscribers right here. So the following video you're about to watch goes back to August where I sent out a video for my paid clients somewhere here we can see that the stock has been good to those who own it going as high as 1250 or so since that breakout under five and that took about two months a very nice return now i initially sent out this video you can see here it is unlisted because it is for my clients i'm going to include the link in the description of the video that you are about to which is the same video. I want to turn this into an educational video. So watch this, take a look at what happened in price and see whether you can learn why I call this at the time as a high risk reward, a breakout candidate. And of course, with the power that has been seen in the sector, the solar sector, if you've been paying attention, that is, the stock has had a nice run. All right, so this is the video from August 14th. 2020 this was for my paid clients the link is gonna be in the description of the video otherwise the same video follows right now two three one this is eric mother mother.com all is well let's take a look here and in this quick short video i'm going to be discussing a stock that is breaking out today or about to break out in the process of breaking out i should say and it's really given me a tough time and i want to explain to you my thought process the stock is right here and i just sent out an alert for paid subscribers and i had to let this one go so i did not add this stock even though to be honest i see how it could be a good pick for the day it is up 60 percent that in itself is a sign of power now the reason why i did not add this on my shortlisted premium alerts to paid subscribers is because of the following so based on this chart by the way on the monthly it looks good in the following sense we see a breakout or at least an attempted breakout alert this is a monthly chart and this is three years of data and we can see that as of right now it is moving above june 2020 monthly closing high at 4.74 now my first thought was yes this looks good and we should have an interest in this and i'll be honest with you it will not surprise me that the stock breaks this high here maybe even goes on to trade in the sevens eights nines etc it will not surprise me <laughs> because you can see this move here this move from one 175 to about 475 in about two months is a sign of power and today it is up 60 percent that tells you there's something brewing now the issue i have with the stock is as follows and that's just something that sometimes we just have to let go of good candidates because of the following. This is the high at about six last month. And this is the low for this month. You know, so it's taken a couple of weeks. In fact, let's take a look at the weekly. Let's go to the weekly. So I did spend some time looking at this. And I don't like the fact that it touched a high of six. And within three weeks was trading at 275 that's a loss of a huge chunk of the game so that tells me it has a probability of doing something similar to this a reversal sharp huge reversals now as i always mention in my videos one of the things that we need to be always on the lookout is what i call ugly even though there's no such thing but it helps visually explain how an instrument does not have that staying power doesn't hold on to gains another way of putting it 
So that's the only reason, to be honest. The stock itself looks good. The only reason is it tends to lose gains very easily. And I don't want to put my subscribers through this type of a reaction. And we can see on the two two year weekly. Now this is not two years of weekly data. What we can see here is we see another instant where it tried to move in the beginning part of 2019. Very volatile. Two up weeks would go on to lose all of those gains. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I don't want to put my subscribers through. And then had another fake move in a sense because it had a good gain for the week, but it all evaporated by the end of the week. It was trading here. You can see a huge drop here as of late 2018. So that's my issue with the stock. Otherwise, it looks good. One of the things that I really had no problem with is it tends to follow through or recently this breakout here looked good. And remember, this is just an educational video. I'm just going through some of the things I consider. And there was a breakout here and it, there was a follow through. That's good. You want to see a follow through to show that it has staying power on a short term basis. My issue with the instrument is the long term picture. Let's go back to the monthly chart. And on this monthly chart, three years of data again, so three year, day, three year monthly. We can see another period of a loss, huge reversals. So this is something's been going on. This is in 2017, had this massive plunge towards late 2017, another plunge, loss of gains as we've seen here on this month. So it tends to do that. Now, one of the things I should have mentioned that I do like, and I think I might end up regretting this somewhat is, even though I've seen so many breakouts over the last 20 years. It's all good, even if it goes on to trade higher. But one of the things that I think could ignite the move is if and when it moves above 69.1. So I would say this if I was confident that somebody wants to take a chance with this instrument, but with a tight stop, that's fine. Because should this instrument move above 69.1, I guarantee you it's going to be moving <laughs> in the double digits you can just you can sense it also we have this entry above rsi 50 was with a sharp angle of penetration that's something else i don't talk about a lot but it's going to be in my videos in my playlist so a sharp angle of penetration i would anticipate another sharp angle of penetration when this instrument if and when it moves above RSI 69.1 on the monthly, expect a massive blast in prices. Now, of course, the first order of business here is to hold above the monthly buy point from June. And that is at 4.74. It needs to hold above that. That's the first order of business. If it can do that, if the RSI can move above 69.1 on the monthly, I would expect a massive move to the upside. Massive move to the upside. Maybe a double in price in the coming weeks, coming months. Quick double at that. Now, let's pull all the data monthly. So, all data monthly. I hope you can see it. We have just a behavior that I particularly do not like to see in an instrument it's just a loss every time it tries to move higher it gives back the gains every single month going back to its ipo days of 2014 every single move has just evaporated and that's the issue i have with the stock but i guarantee you i can see should it just hold above 4.74 the RSI move above 69. This thing is going to take off because it's going to be moving its RSI to a level never seen before. And that would be a sign of power, a reason for power, and prices are going to explode in the process. So it's one of those I call a risk trade. In fact, as I record this, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to convert this video and send it to subscribers so they can make 
the decision for themselves if they want to hold or not. I initially decided not to send that breakout alert, but in, uh, in further consideration, given this RSI penetration above RSI 50, it becomes self-evident that a move above 69.1 might also have the same sharp angle of penetration, and this could ignite another very powerful move to the upside for a short-term couple of weeks, couple of months swing trade opportunity with a potential huge price acceleration. Now, you have to be careful here because one definitely needs a 5 to 8% stop because of the history of giving back gains over the years. Because of this history, this is going to happen again and you just have to be very careful with instruments like this. Now, the other thing I spent some time looking at, and I always do this for all of the stocks that I send to paid subscribers, is I always make sure to consider the sector. <laughs> that is an important ingredient. Very, in fact, could be the most important ingredient as far as the stock's potential is concerned. The sector. The sector itself has tremendous influence on an individual stock's performance. So, now, if we take a look at this sector here, now, of course, it's electrical, but I think it's a play on solar would be my guess. It's probably in the wrong spot. But, you know, it's had a decent gain over the last 52 weeks, up almost 260. That's what we're looking for. St instruments that have already moved because they tend to move even more. Yeah, I know it's counterintuitive, but that's how, it do that's how the market works. So, in my opinion, it is probably leadership in this sector here, electrical services, but I think it's a play on solar would be my guess because this is as far as much fundamental analysis I do on a stock is just a sector. The name itself might be an indi indicator that it is a play, a solar play. We know that solar stocks have been huge. For example, solar alternative sector stocks. Of course, we know this has been moving. Uh, this has been moving. We also know that this has been moving. And of course, the solar ETF has also been moving. And I sent you guys a breakout alert during this breakout here. So if it's a play on the solar sector, then it makes more sense why it is showing some love. So I'm going to convert this from a educational video it's going to become educational slash breakout alert for paid mother.com subscribers let me process this and send the video to you we'll see how it goes as far as the stock itself is concerned it needs to hold above 4.74 and also needs to push its rsi eventually above 69.1 if it does i would expect a quick move sharp strong move to the upside as mentioned the only way to play this is from a defensive point of view. Make sure you have a stop because of the history of failure to hold on to gains. There is your market. Highlighted is the solar ETF. And this is my daily tracking. And the stock is right now trading at 506, up about 60%. You decide whether you have an interest or not. This is Eric Moab with Mother.com. Love and light, light and love. Namaste.